On this episode of NSFW Show, we're joined by Sarah Lane of Tech News Today. We go over the news of the day. We talk about how to solve your problems. Also, Super Bowl prop bets, and I give away a game. Body rap has never looked so good. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 215, recorded on January 28th, 2014. Five foot arm. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by ProXPN. ProXPN is a virtual private network that allows you to use the internet the way it should be, anonymous and unfiltered. For 20% off your new account, go to proxpn.com slash twit and use the code NSFW. And ting! Ting is a mobile phone service that makes sense. Save money with Ting. Pay only for what you use. Ting doesn't require a contract and offers unlimited devices on one shared plan. Save $25 on your first Ting device. Visit nsfw.ting.com. That's nsfw.ting.com. And Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website or online portfolio. For a free two-week trial and 10% off, go to squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW1. SFW, the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the Webernets, the show that's nominally safe for work. Oh my goodness, beautiful people. It's so good to see you again. It feels like an eternity. I, of course, am Brian Brushwood in Austin, Texas, joined by the heart of the internet in Petaluma, California. When I say the heart of the internet, I don't mean Petaluma is the heart of the internet. I, I mean that Justin Robert Young is the heart of the internet. What is going on, JRY? Oh my God, Brian. My God! We have a show tonight <laughs> that will shake my God, the world. Not your his... God. Not, no. not his God. My Mine. God. You ever heard that song, Personal Jesus? It's about my God. <laughs> I, I wrote it. And then I, I told everyone, stop talking about my Jesus. That's my personal yeah, Jesus. Tell you what. I'm going to tell you once. Back off. <laughs> what, my what? God. This is back Brian, off. we have a show tonight that will shake the internet. To its very foundations. Yeah, I, I believe okay. it. Okay. Yep. I've seen the state of the NSFW show, and it is strong. <laughs> it is a very strong. <laughs> this is. Oh, is this? Is this that we're going to give our State of the Union our our own version of it? No, you want to know what? I'm, I'm going to make you a promise. How about Sarah Lane appears on this show, ladies and gentlemen? You know her from Tech News Today. And from i5 for the iPhone, Sarah Lane makes a triumphant return to our show. Huzzah! Welcome. Hello! I'm happy to be back. Dude, it's uh, according to the chat room, it's been 457 days, 23 hours, and 36 minutes since you last graced us with your appearance. And uh, I'm glad that we finally are fixing day. this. So it's been well over a year. Well, I am a little bit over a year. It's been, uh, it's been too long. We all agree on you that. You starved the audience for too long. And now we have sated their appetite for Sarah Lane uh, with this show. All right, we're going we're gonna to talk about all sorts of stuff, including we're bringing back probably the the best bit we've ever done on this show. Yep. Uh, and that is, of course, because Sarah is here. We're going to do Problem Solvers, the world's yeah. only call-out advice show. Yeah, dude, we work on our own schedule. When you want premium advice, you don't get to tell us when it's mm -mm. time to give the advice. We tell you when we feel like giving you advice and when we feel like reading your questions which is apparently right now live on the air but that's coming up soon uh first uh Ju justin i got i don't know how we got here but bonnie just uh just sort of walked into the office and says i have your first bit for nsfw tonight and she pulls out <laughs> wait, wait, she, she says no <laughs> 
What, is she negating you your working? fake narrative for why you're going to bring out this prop? Oh, uh, I don't know, dude. Is, is it not going to work, Bonnie? Is it? It does not appear to be turning on. Oh no! Are you pressing Nobody. buttons? Oh, we're going. We're off to a great start no, whatever. already. Damn it! Strong. Let me, let me tease you, my friends, with what Strong might have top been. Of show guys. Imagine Type a broadcast. world in which uh, it was not covered in acid, and imagine. <laughs> We explored the wonders of the body wrap uh, personal wrap system. <laughs> what? <gasps> oh, yeah. So <laughs> imagine how great I would look uh, geared up in, in this uh, with, with hi hat symbol, uh, the tom tom drum. This little button here says the word wrap. <laughs> Because you need to have an instrument that shouts the genre at any given time. You got there's a cowbell over here, and there's an ass drum that you you can see right there. Can, can you see that where it says ass drum? It no, it just says ass drum. Well, I mean, there's a big giant B, but it very clearly appears to no, say the word. No, not by my peepers. <laughs> ass drum. <laughs> And the idea was, is that what's funny is like this entered my life and, and came into my house and sat here for two decades. And I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to understand what, what frame of mind I was ever in when this was like, oh yeah, no, give me the, the body wrap, please. Do you think that they put the guy, for, for those audio listening, uh, it is what you would describe as a 80s teenager, a typical kind of 80s teenager, yeah. right? Yeah. Like well, a mall hopping late, late 80s, 80s teenager, early, but he's in 90s. shadow. Do you think they put him in shadow so you might think he was black? <laughs> I mean, it, it, look, the the front of it makes it look like he's like a ghost hunter, but it's a it's a body wrap system. You know, I'd like to I'd like to think that this that this sold so poorly that they rebranded it as a ghost hunting kit later, and oh, then, and they're going around and they're they're like they're like I'm hitting I'm hitting the uh, the the psychic terminator and I'm getting yeah. I'm getting feedback and they were like why? as you can see on the feedback from my ass drum right why why is it saying the word rap over and over again. And there, he oh, must have been a rapper. There's another one that says body as well. All right, Bonnie's. I think, I think you ought to. Hold, hold on, Bonnie. Bonnie is forgetting that she needs to talk on mics. Well, I, this wasn't on. All right. Uh, I think you ought to put it on and let the chat room do sound effects for you. So <laughs> put on. Oh, like like let them have the body wrap. What do you mean? No, no, no. You you do it as if it was working, and yet oh it no, gets cut <laughs> with like just have them cut after the back. Noise. They'll be all like, like, I am dumb. I am dumb. It's no, that's not happening. It, yeah, here, we'll, we'll see if we can get the body wrap working. But in the meantime, we got plenty of other games already scheduled. Uh, all right. Well, that well, that'll be a through line. We, we will not end this show tonight unless we get but one symbol thump of the astrum. <laughs> the symbol thump of the astrum was show my favorite. Show doesn't end till we get an astrum. <laughs> no. You heard it here, kids. No. We don't shut these lights this off. Is a, this is a show for big kids <laughs> who know what's right. Um, Important day. This is a, a show that studies have uh, indicated is a leading uh, news gathering resource for America's youth. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, um, you say studies. I mean, I, at least one study by I talked to your mom and your mom said, I like getting my news from Brian. Yes. And so I took <laughs> yes. that to be that the NSFW show far and away in key demographics is yeah. the leading news source in the country. So we're going to do a little thing. Uh, we, we, we've codified the way that we're going to bring you the news. Uh, we, we pride ourselves on our news judgment. Uh, and the way that we are going to make sure that we bring you only the most relevant stories for which Twit and, and shows that Sarah's on, like i5 and, and uh, iPad and, uh, and Tech News Today is really good at, bringing you the relevant stories that you want to hear about. We're going to keep that tradition going on NSFW Show with a new bit we call 12-Sided Drudge. Yeah, this is all science, by the way. What we're doing is we have a, uh, a highly scientific method of figuring out what are the most important news stories in America. And so we use a feed aggregator called the Drudgeinator, which is basically drudgereport.com. We use yeah. our, our, our key demographic analyzer in order to pick the most appropriate story for us to cover, also known as a pair of 12-sided dice. 
Uh, and from that, we we bring you the news. Yeah. Sounds and legit. <laughs> so, so here we go. We're going to break down the news here for you. Brian, uh, I, I have in the dock a 12-sided die generator. Do you really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I, I was unprepared. For, this is a level of preparation that I've never experienced before. This is amazing. All right, here. I'm going to the 12-sided die generator. Here, let me cover so, up your stupid face. And I'll go 12 faces. There we go. Here's my 12-sided die. And I'm going to spin it. And I got me a two. All right. So that would be a the second column. Uh, column. Yep, yep. And now I roll... I also rolled a two. <laughs> Whoa! This story, that's one thing about NSFW. It's, it's, we're all about the number two. <laughs> well, body, I got a laugh from body. That's good enough for me. All right, here we go. Schools uh, close for snow in Florida. Uh, I don't know. I don't think this is real. Yeah, it's got to be real. It's, it was real here in Texas. It was real here in Austin. It was real when I slid on my butt. And busted my knee up this morning. And you want to know, all right, here. I, I, I was in Chattanooga, Tennessee last week. <laughs> all, right. all right? Yeah. This is for real. They had weather below 20 degrees. Well, yeah. T Tennessee gets it bad. I, I, I don't know. Why are people still doing this? <laughs> Wait, how, is it how long do we need to live as a species before we just all move to where it's warm. So or, it's or, warm here. You you know it would be better. Think about this cuz we're we're geniuses, we're humans, we have ingenuity. Why do we have to go to the warmth? Why don't we bring the warmth to us? I say warm the whole planet up. <laughs> let's just <laughs> let's just solve That's, that scientists. Now you're just talking crazy. You can't <laughs> man can't have some sort of effect on the way that the earth works. <laughs> well, I, that's what I want. I'm saying We should. If we send a man to well, sure, Yeah, is. we should all eat ice cream for breakfast too, bro. <laughs> I tell, you tell me they can send a man to the moon allegedly, but yeah, they can't figure out a way to raise it just I'm not a lot, like maybe 2 degrees every decade for the next unforeseeable future. That'd be enough for me. I mean, listen, I'm, I'm not going to really say... really hot in Austin, though? Like, really hot? I mean, it was, that was... I don't remember those days. It's There's there's frozen water on my lawn right now. And I need yeah. that to stop. Hey, by the way, not very that's civilized. why we have air conditionings. That's right. Cool if, it down. If Jesus wanted us to go out in the hot, why did he invent AC? Explain me that. Okay. Now, I'm going to say this about people who live in cold weather states. And I hope that they take this deadly serious. I'm not saying that you're an idiot, but if you have kids, it's child abuse and you should be arrested for living in cold weather states. It's unfair to the children and you are a menace to society and the decay of American values. Fair enough. Uh, Somebody had to say it. That's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Somebody had to say it. I got to come strong here. All right. I think we covered that story. We did. We done real good on it. I that feel was like great. We did. <laughs> Right out of the gate. It's Boom. time for a time for me. Here, uh, I'm gonna pick me a column. Woo, woo, whoop. Six, which would take us to column number three, because we go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And uh, so we're in in this zone right here. What what you got? All right, and I've rolled a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. GOP ready to surrender on debt ceiling. Now, it sounds to me, if I understand the story correctly, that the GOP is um, like the beleaguered husband whose wife just really wants to, to buy some stuff that's a little outside her price range. <laughs> and the GOP <laughs> is like, for the millionth time, sweetheart, it can't happen. We can't do We can't afford it. And then finally, there's like some something gets upset or like like it gets caught out at a stripper's joint or whatever. And then it's just like. Fine, we could get fine. We'll we'll raise the debt ceiling, sweetheart. Good enough. I like that's fine if they do it, but I really need to know how they're gonna incorporate the song "Surrender" by Cheap Trick. <laughs> Surrender, mommy's all right. Yeah. Daddy's all right. Mommy's all right. <laughs> Daddy's all right. Like they're just maybe, deeply mired in debt. <laughs> Surrender. I mean, imagine that. All right. So like you have John Boehner on the drums, he's like banging it out. Who like Chris Christie can be singing it? Man, this is actually scary. This is close enough to something that that 
the GOP would actually do. No, this Rand is- Paul. Rand Paul's singing it because he's in Congress, right? Yeah, yeah. It's got to be congressional. You know, he's in the he's in the Senate, right? Wait, which one is that? In Congress, that Congress is both. Yeah, no, Congress is both. Yeah, Congress is the overarching. Yes. <laughs> Listen. <there's laughs> that- Number one source for news in key demographics, key namely demographics. my mother. <laughs> We're doing great. We're doing great. Next story. Uh, all right. Boop, boop. One. Column one. What you got? All right. I'm rolling it. Rolling it down. Eleven. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, let me, uh, oh crap! I have to recount again. Um, <laughs> hold, hold on. Actually, I'm gonna call an audible here. I'm gonna do a Squarespace change of plans because okay. number ten says um, futuristic bra only opens for true love, <laughs> and I kind of. Well, either that what? or wearable book allows reader to feel emotions of characters. Do you, do you no, want to? No, st- let's stick with this uh, boobs thing. Okay. Yeah, no, let's talk about boobs. All right. Futuristic bra only opens for true love. This is a, a, a D News, and it's got um, it's got the feel, feel them up. Do you think that, what's it called, that, that D News should have, like, bring in the D? Oh, my um, God. As their slogan? No, no, no. no. They, they, they should have people shouting, we want the D. That's that's what, <laughs> like, crowds of people and kids and grandmothers, <laughs> we want the D. Wait, can we talk about the bra? Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> all right. Not the D. All right. Uh, I, well, I I mean, we'll, we'll, it's news. all related. All right, here we go. Uh, this bra is spo- – so, I, okay, as a, as a bra wearer, I'm just going to go out and say that. Yeah, okay. This is Brag something that it. I would wear – uh, because I'd be confident that nobody could take it off unless I loved them. Yeah, that's what uh-huh. it, it actually hooks up, and it monitors your heart rate. Uh, here we go at a particular heart rate. Oh, look at this! We're watching this. Oh, good God! <laughs> <laughs> this is, a, by the way, this is a great way to sell your product. Immediately in the first seven seconds, show somebody manhandling a chick. Oh my God! This like weirdo goon handing her. <laughs> What in <laughs> it's time to save women from these guys. The bra meets cutting edge technology. A revolutionary bra that knows how women truly feel. <laughs> this innovative bra cannot be unloved without true love. Oh my god. So, so, all right, pause this, Brian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So this whole thing's in English, and there's something about a a product that hangs precariously in this in this uh, weird sexual sphere that I've made extraordinarily uncomfortable when it's a Japanese voice at the other end of it. <laughs> well, because yes, we are all very comfortable with how the Japanese treat their sexuality. Well, and plus, also, it's like what's funny is I assume this thing was Japanese from the very beginning. I was confused when when they were talking English, and then all of a sudden, like to me, I'm suddenly comfortable. I'm like, oh, of course, of course, there's a Japanese lady explaining to us why this you is. You guys important. are missing the point. Which is the 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 the, the, the whole thing is like it's, it's like so we, like <laughs> I mean is this something that happens where like at a club on a regular basis I'm like whoa we lost my bra I didn't even love him <laughs> I gotta tell you I I've got a certain I'm gonna I got a certain fear I put it on what? and I'm not able to take it off oh. I never did love myself oh. you know oh, yeah. <laughs> that could be awkward I love you I swear. <laughs> oh, so when excited, the adrenal medulla affects the autonomic nerve and stimulates the heart rate. So basically you can't open it until your heart races. It's a great, it's a great animation. <laughs> So <laughs> wow, it just wow, explodes. It is like, this thing blows wide open. 
All right, now, now here's the thing. They're burying the, the lead. They're making it all about how, like, nasty guys can't get your bra off. But what they should be selling you on is, like, whether you want it or not, when, you're hot, when your heart knows that it's time to bang, this thing just pops wide open on its own. There's no way this thing can be successful, right? Because if women all over the world were wearing this, Ryan Gosling could go out. nowhere on the planet. <laughs> It would you would be, just walk in, do like a, a Taco Bell, and next thing you know, the four female employees are scapronging all over the, the counter. It would be Ryan Gosling would be living the real life version of Patrick Stewart's uh, movie pitch from Extras. Where, exactly. Where, it's too late. I've seen everything wherever he goes. Uh, all right. Well, look. Um, all right. That's more news. You, you got one Man, more story? You, I mean, imagine that also in, 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 the, in the divorce deposition. That it's like, well, I knew things had become irreconcilable when I didn't take my bra off for six months. <laughs> he, he tried scaring me eventually. He showed up <laughs> in a bear suit. And, went, and I only said, oh, you scared me, right? So, Sarah, are you going to be pre-ordering uh, the, the true love bra? No, I don't even like bras. They're not comfortable. This is assuming women want to wear them anyway. This is part of your fascist bra, pro-bra it's a, it's a, agenda. It's a fallacy created by mainstream media. <laughs> the lamestream media. All right, media. calm down, Ann Coulter. <laughs> All right, just saying. Are we Are... going to tell me what to do with my padded lock bra? Yeah, I don't want <laughs> the bra. It is. All right, would it be worth it if for just like the explosive... Uh, female boner parallel, like the idea <laughs> that it would just be like, what? Who's that guy? So, so it's like, like, boom. So, so, so finally, girls would have their own version of of sproyoyoyoyoying, where it's exactly. like, you know, like to to explain, like, wow, check him out, sproyoying. <laughs> Flowing in the breeze. Everybody likes that. That's, Everybody likes yeah. that. Go commando. It's, it's, a, it's, it's for everybody. It's bipartisan. It's, it, would it's look go like, it would look like for just a second like they, were, like they were transforming. Like they were transformers. It was like their chest would kind of open up under their blouse oh. and you would want they would turn Hold into on. a butterfly. I, I am utterly transfixed by this idea of a campaign for go commando. It's bipartisan. Like I want to see like campaign of uh, uh, posters i want to see people like 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 questioning the president like mr president why have you have yet to weigh in on the campaign <laughs> to go commando it's bipartisan Man. mr president uh if only posters will pop up in the chat room with sarah lane's face on it over the next hour or so <laughs> okay. but you want to know what come on girls are you with me <laughs> yes what's going on justin sarah you're gonna you're gonna you're leading a revolution Good. And uh, you don't want uh, you don't want your private messages in the hands of all sorts of unseemly types like the uh, like the NSA. So that's Correct. why you need Pro XPN. The Broblies are overstepping boundaries left and right. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, the their their underwire stretches across the United States and all countries abroad. Do they think they are? Uh, that's why you need Pro XPN. Here's the deal: it's a global VPN. It's going to make sure that your private communications stay private. You can have whatever the hell you want on there, as long as you're in uh, Pro XPN's uh, amazing uh, mystery tunnel, which is a technical term. Ain't nobody can't tell what the hell you're doing. So here's the deal. Complete online privacy through a 512-bit encryption tunnel. Works via Open VPN or PPTP. You want to know what? You choose. Listen, don't make a big deal about it. You just choose one or the other. How about world-class customer support? And Steve Gibson, he gave it a great review on Security Now. Steve gives, you know, Steve did a full backflip. And if you don't believe me, look it up. Here's what you got to do. Go to proxpn.com slash Twitter for more information and to sign up. Brian, you are not going to believe what a ProXPN premium account uh, normally costs. You want to uh, guess? Well, I mean, I, I figured it's, uh, what, uh, $30. And, yeah. Uh, so Whoa, I figured it's minute. Normally $9. $9.95 uh, a month, Brian. Oh, okay. Or $74.95 for an entire year. But I'll tell you what, we've got a special offer. Use the code NSFW <laughs> to receive 20% off the lifetime of your account. That's like five months a month. Is this how ads are on the show? Is this uh, wow. <laughs> you've, so you've just, I feel Every so free. <laughs> It's That's like we don't wear no. We don't. The yearly plan. If you're not satisfied, you can cancel within seven days for a full refund. We're not wearing uh, an ad, bro. Go to uh, proxpn.com slash twit. 
and then sign up with the code NSFW. Man, we really aren't wearing an ad bra, are we? Um, no, going commando. <laughs> it's bipartisan. That's what it's bipartisan, you need to bro. Do. <laughs> you, do you want to do Let's another no story? Let's off, Brian. People have, have been emailing in their problems for over 400 days. Because that's been how long it's been since Sarah was on the show and we did Problem Solvers. I, I mean, we've let this world fall into decay. Yeah. Well, the world had it coming. It's morally bankrupt, and I won't be a part of it. You hear that, world? Welcome. Take back your city. That's what's happened. Bane's <laughs> running around, <laughs> screaming about Gotham City. We've let it fall to pot. Not anymore, though. We're fixing it all right now. Here, in fact, we're going to start calling some people. We're going to fix their faces, uh, and it's going to be the three of us all at once. Let's take a look at our first story. Here we go. First question comes from a gentleman that says, This weekend, I had three bottles of wine on a Google Hangout in front of people I only know from Chat Realm. I drank all three bottles in about two and a half hours. Jesus. <laughs> Needless to say, I was drunk. They have pictures, there. videos, and proof <laughs> that this happened. Maybe getting there. And that I may have said some things that could be construed as hateful and possibly racist. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I am so deeply embarrassed that I just need to know what I could do to keep these people quiet. <clears throat> um, and it says here, it's not Ryan Alcott, just for the record. Gotcha. This sounds like a um, podcast. Yeah, is that, can you live off with that much wine in that short of time? I don't know, three, man. three bottles in two and a half hours is not that much wine. <laughs> All right. Keep that for the record. I folks. mean, it's it's a lot of wine, but it's I mean, it's I did it on Sunday. To your fine. head, it's fine. Well, it's you know. All right. Well, no, no, no. Here, maybe, my, maybe, my, maybe. my my issue is this: it's not so much that all the wine was consumed; it's that I mean, he he or she uh, was alert and then decided to go offensive, mm. which means that they're just a very bad drunk, um, and those people shouldn't drink at all. So oh, you think that, that the hateful racist part was in him before the wine and the wine just made it kind yes. of float up okay, to the no, top? No, keep it, keep alcohol it, keep it doesn't though. make you lie. Alcohol makes you not shut the hell up. Well, And, and that's mm. and by the way, we, we talked about alcohol's this. Alcohol also made me lie, uh, for the record. But, I'm well, going to go ahead on the record. But, but if, you remember, <laughs> if you All remember, right. I had a very similar circumstance when I got too drunk on an NSFW show at the Twit Brick House when I went on this random tear trying to explain while Jeff Kanata sat there patiently wondering what the hell I was talking about as I explained that Swamp Thing had a magical serum and then the guy who turned into a troll says, it only makes you more of what you already are. That is what booze is, my friends. And so the uh, in this case, this person said not that he meant anything hateful or racist, but that it could be construed as. So he said things that, that, that were, that he regrets. That's the question. Uh... Well, I wonder yeah, what it was. I, mean, I wonder if he just started yelling other races. Man, no. Like, Asians! <laughs> All right, look, none of this is the... the we, we need to figure out how we're going to fix this guy's problem. Uh, well, no, we just we just, we just got to divvy he, up the roles. What he, what he needs to do... I, I, we're, we're, like, we're just trying to give some like really good advice here, right? Sure, yeah. sure, sure. He is... is he, he feels bad enough because he said a bunch of stupid stuff, but now he thinks that people are judging him and might tell other people and it could affect his life negatively. Right. Yeah, right. So number one thing you do is contact everybody who was there and fess up. Don't be like, mm, did you hear what I said? Because everybody did. Okay. They're all probably right. well, all talking about I think, it. I think we, we, got, we got this. So Sarah, you are giving the advice. I am summarizing the problem. Brian, you give our witty rejoinder and uh, and we will we'll, we'll move right along. All right, dude, here we go. Oh, okay. We got this. Oh, I gotta get this ready. Hello. Problem solvers. So you got all boozed up and probably said some racist jackassery. What you gotta do is text all your friends and tell them. Man, I didn't mean it. I'm a big old jackass. Either that or become an actual racist. <laughs> Problem solved. 
That's a good move. See, if you're gonna, you're already halfway there. Well, I mean, if you have the reputation, I mean, Whoa, you might as well just living on a prayer. That's right. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Just you know, go go full bore, right? I mean, what's the matter? You already got the, you already bought the apartment. Why don't you move in? Uh, all right, all right. Well, Brian, here's our next one. Uh, I am lonely and decided to sign up for eHarmony. Somehow my registration was messed up, and they added me as a woman looking for other women. <laughs> I didn't notice. <laughs> And then started chatting with a nice young lady. We went out for drinks, had a great time, and agreed to see her next Saturday. She is cool and fun to hang out with, but I am not a lesbian. Should I become one or tell her the truth? Any other advice? Did I mention I'm lonely? Uh, and then she says, uh, I'm R.L. Stein. I don't think that she's actual R.L. Stein. I think that uh, that she's uh, she's just uh, using the line. Right, so, right. So... She's a lady. We can summarize. Yeah. She acts. It was accident, accidentally <laughs> what, listed as what, what, what's women funny, looking for other women. What's funny is I spent the whole time wondering how this dude pulled off pretending to be a chick the entire time, and only after you told the story did I realize, oh wait, it's probably a girl. <laughs> um. All right. So we moved down the bench. Uh, that means uh, Brian, you you summarize the problem. Uh, I will give the advice, Sarah. You have your your witty uh, rejoinder. Let's go ahead and solve some problems. Oh my gosh, we're just jumping okay. right in. We're not even discussing all right, all right. it. This one. Ooh, we're just, this is a lot of pressure. Flying okay. without a net. Let's do this. Come on, answer. Please leave your message no! for eight five zero two two five for four, the answering nine, machine. Four, right, yeah, one. we'll do it. Problem solved. So you ordered yourself a hot sausage, but you found yourself at a taco buffet. Listen, if you don't go through with this gay thing, you're a homophobe. <laughs> Both of you need to put on some body wrap systems and wrap it out on each other's butts. <laughs> oh my God, that was amazing. <laughs> Problem solved. Click. <laughs> I, feel, I don't know why we don't do this every week. This should be its own show. I feel like rub we could just do rub, this in, infinitely. Rub it out on each other's butts is my new favorite phrase. Y'all just need to put on some body wraps and rub it out on each other's butts. <laughs> I just want to give good advice, you guys. I know it works. I am a woman. <laughs> oh, bad news, bros. Uh, that's definitely... There's definitely oh. acid all the way through on the body wrap. This is the last body wrap of... There'll be no body oh, wrapping no. on these butts, unfortunately. Man. Body wrap is in the house tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right on, man. Look, we're, 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 we're making the world a better place. Let's just double down. Let's keep on going. You ready for all another right, one? Right. Here we go. Dear Problem Solvers, I recently started a graduate program in a fairly new field for me. One of my professors is a very nice man, but also very Russian. He posts his <laughs> lectures and lecture notes online to help students out. But he also puts half his lecture notes in Cyrillic. Well, I'm just fine with doing extra research on uh, Hegelian, Hegelian dialect. dialect and ecofeminism. It's a bit hard when I don't actually speak Russian. What should I do? I got the well. I got I got the uh, the solution for him. Uh, all right, Sarah, you want to summarize? I'll give the witty rejoinder. Wait, I feel like I need to hear it again. I I got confused when I heard the word Russian. <laughs> so the, the problem is, uh, this person is taking uh, a college course. Yeah. Uh, and they're following along. They like the professor, but the the the, the, the professor puts half their notes in Cyrillic. Yeah. That's which, okay. Yeah. Understood. Okay. All right. Uh, all right, man. Well, then here, we'll just give them a call. Let me copy this uh, this here phone number here. Boop, boop, and let me paste it in here, which I thought I had already done, but I guess I hadn't. All right, here we go. Ring. Oh. 
problem solvers. So you're on this college class, and you like your professor, but he's Russian, and that's kind of the same thing as moon language. Yeah, and you need to walk up to him like your Rocky Balboa and say, I must break you, unless you stop talking Russian. But also, I got mixed up on which role is the English and the Russian one. Cyrillic? More like surreal dick. <laughs> Problem solved. Click. <laughs> It's great. It's good. Yeah. It's good advice. It's good advice we gave him. <laughs> this guy's a dick. Put yeah. it in English. Say Moscow. Done. Calm it down, Edward Snowden. <laughs> All right, here we go. This one says, I'm living By the in- way, can I just say a, a quick Russia rant? I love yep. how Russia right now is both of like, oh, man, look how awesome Russia is. And also look how terrible Russia is. Then it's like, oh, well, like Edward Snowden, especially to the Twit audience, it's like, you know, revealed all these things about the NSA, you know, certainly looked in a favorable light. And they're like, well, look, Russia's holding them. And then meanwhile, it's like they're like the Olympics are going to all explode simultaneously during the opening ceremony. And they're like, oh, yeah, no, we don't. Gays don't exist. They're a popular myth that we've banned from our, our perfect idyllic country. Is that Russia's really screwed up? Is that really what they've said? Not a fan of the gays in Russia. Wow. Yeah, there's a whole uh, a whole um, boycotting of the Sochi Olympics for this reason because Russia won't change its stance, official stance. It's you know, it's 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 a crazy they freed, mixed uh, up world. They freed Pussy Riot. They did. Well, that's good. <laughs> the Pussy Riot rages. <laughs> Yeah, we got, we got exploding bras, <laughs> pussy riots roaming free, the world looking up. We, uh, we should talk about Kiev next. Uh, all right, here we go. Next one says, I'm living in residence at my college, and my roommate disappeared last week. Just vanished. <laughs> effed off into the night. That's not the problem. The problem is now that I have a whole double room to myself, and I don't know what to do with it. Should I use it as a place for guests to stay? Turn it into a lounge? Let my S gradually spill over into it? This is too much responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, man. So I guess <laughs> has Padre has J in the chat has a helpful suggestion. Fap, 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 fap. Oh, my God. <laughs> you can't talk like that. You're a priest. Jesus. <laughs> you can type like that. <laughs> oh, God. No. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, please. All right. You're a priest. Listen. At least now we know what would Jesus do. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I learned a lot about religion just now. <laughs> all right. So- I, all I know is that my my love bra just went scaproy. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> they need to uh oh <sighs> geez, I just I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm gonna stop right now. Uh, All hey right. man, so so what do you want to do on um, uh, on this? Who's taking what? Uh, I can summarize. Uh, Sarah, do you want to give the advice? Brian, you wanna you wanna rejoinder it up? Yeah, you got it. Here we go. All right, we're calling them right now. Problem solvers. So your roommate disappeared like the rapture, and now you got more space than you know what to do with. You know, Pharrell's hat at the Grammys took up a lot of space. I bet if you bought three of them, you'd have no problem at all. You heard the priest. Load up Red Tube. <laughs> problem solved. Click. Ah, <laughs> uh, right on, man. Uh... And now I'm thinking, all right, I can't follow that line of thought. <laughs> <That's disgusting. laughs> oh, the sound of like the like a, oh, like an no. iron door. Oh, <laughs> MLS Carnage fap into Pharrell's hat. And so Dr. Seuss has written his greatest line. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Oh, all right. Uh, do, do you want to? Uh, what, that's a whole summer. You're trying to fill that thing. That was a big hat. <laughs> it is a very odd hat. It was like a hat that was beat up. It was beat up and, and it looked worn. like it it looked like and, and because Pharrell's such a weird guy, 
like you would expect him to like have some sort of like who framed Roger Rabbit adventure where he like took it off like a Mountie, a cartoon Mountie, and then just went to the Grammys. Oh shoot. I just realized that this is a Grammys thing you guys are talking about. I was like, is this a hat he's notorious for wearing? But I guess I just typed in Pharrell's hat and this instantly came up. <laughs> and holy crap, man. It's just it's just it's very big. It looks actually like the poop emoji. It 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 does. <laughs> it does. As a hat. But it also, can you see like the concealed giant boner in his hat? <laughs> Either that or maybe like a lumpy middle finger he's given you. <laughs> That's what I call it to the lady. I was like, hey, you want the lumpy middle finger tonight? <laughs> <laughs> lumpy for What is pleasure? wrong with your face? <laughs> I, that is a man who lost a bet. <laughs> <laughs> and then collected a Grammy for the most epic I like way to how lose also, a bet. Also, he went with the most weird hat possible. Then he's like, yeah, no, tracksuit's good for the rest. <laughs> <laughs> man, I did not watch the Grammys. <laughs> what if it was one of those things where it was like, you know, uh, you know how I've heard from a lot of friends that you can like uh, hide weed in your head if you're going to a concert? Um, like, what if he's like, oh, we're going to a really big concert. I need a lot of weed. <laughs> Grab me my massive Mounties hat. It's amazing. Uh, uh, one more here and then we'll, and then we'll, then we'll move on. All right. You got it, boss. You got, you, you, so you want deal. a uh, dealer's choice, whichever one you want. Uh, oh man. Oh man. Um, <laughs> there's some of them I can't read. <laughs> Uh, Read them. You can't say things like that. Okay. How about this one? Here's a work one. My workmate accused me of something I didn't do. I couldn't prove it at the time that I didn't do it, and he claims he has proof that I did. I know for a fact I didn't do what he is accusing <laughs> me of. Now he's being a C-word to me at work. What can I do to make his life a misery? <laughs> I love the fact that the question is like, not what can I do to, to, to get his head straight? Not how do I fix it? The question is, how do I make his life a living hell? And number one, I feel fairly confident he did what the coworker thinks he did. <laughs> well, really? We don't know. We don't know what that thing was. No, because he won't tell us. And his point is not how can we prove it? It's how do I retaliate against it? And that's guy. how you know he did it. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, that's the thing is when it's all about like, and he has no evidence to back it up whatsoever. <laughs> it's code for totally did it. So, uh, no. well, so what's the advice then? Uh, it's actually Padre SJ and his workplace is the Vatican. <laughs> <laughs> and that coworker is the Pope. <laughs> well, would you come on, Francis? Would you just listen, put a sock in it? I was talking. I was talking to Padre, and I was like, "Listen, just run this up the run this up the flagpole, okay? Uh, this Pope couldn't be hotter, right? Yo, he's, he's, he's on fire. Rock and roll Pope. News, everybody loves him. Yeah, acoustic guitar album. Uh, all the Grammys next year. Yeah, call it, call it, you know, God's love. The album, you know, it's like yeah. the Pope's drums. Dude, he plays Tears in Heaven. Pope Francis covering Tears in Heaven. You're done. Shut down the music industry. We're selling all the records. It's pretty amazing. Uh, wow, man. Yeah. All and right. you know that I'm the Pope. <laughs> Tears I'm in, in heaven. heaven. <laughs> Do you know that I'm the Pope? Beauty, beauty, beauty. Singing Tears from Heaven. <laughs> pew, pew, do. And it's like, right, so yeah, here we go. you'll know, yeah, because uh, he's the Pope, he could get like uh, Eric Clapton to do backing vocals on the track. He's oh, just dude. back there, just like, he's just supporting. Did the did the the person who wrote in his his coworker uh, a man? Did he yes. did he use he, pronouns? He, yeah, he or said anything? he. Yeah. Yes, okay. which is why right. he called him right. the c word. <laughs> right. Right. Got it. Okay. Two uh, guys. By the way, you think if the Pope just calls people, he's just like, uh, yeah, Bono, what's up? It's PF. It's PF, <laughs> yeah. PF Chang. They, they they call him PF Chang. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. with that. Amazing. Okay, so let's do. Uh, I guess I guess I'll do the intro. Uh, yeah, Sarah. Do you want to give the advice, and then I'll give the ready rejoinder? Or do you want to give the rejoinder? Um, either one. All right. So you give the advice. I'll give the rejoinder. Here okay. we go. We're calling 
this person who may or may not live in this. Co- uh oh! Please enter a valid number. I think this is an international number, and I don't <gasps> have any credits. I think I think we're just gonna have to tell that person. Why don't you move out of Australia and and come to the United States, F. Lloyd? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Let's do let's do it. USA. <laughs> and turn yourself into the authorities. That was an innocent man. <laughs> let's uh, all right, you got another Oh, here's one? a good one. Here we go. Um I have a girlfriend for the first time in years, but find myself missing my free time. She wants to do things like have sex instead of watching the NSFW show live. Oh. Well, I've got the solution on this one. Uh, Sarah, you want the intro or you want the rejoinder? Um, I'll intro it. All right. Uh, all right. Well, then, in that case, I'm going to click this button. We're going to give this person a call. We're going to save a uh, relationship. I feel ashamed. Problem solvers. So if we understand it correctly, you're a little bitch. You'd rather watch this show than screw your girlfriend. Uh, yeah, look, as your friends and gods of the internet, we want to make it clear to you that nothing would make us happier than to find out that the two were not mutually exclusive. Hoggy style. <laughs> it's in front of both of you. Problem solved. Click. I love the fact that all three of us clearly went to the same place. <laughs> Why choose? Yeah, come it's on, like man. Open VPN or PPTP. You choose. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's uh, let's. Hope we let's, helped, buddy. Let's have fun tonight. <laughs> let's pay some bills, Justin. What do you got for us, man? Ting. Hmm. The t- uh, the Ting Tang Clan. You know what the F word stands for? Fees, Brian. Fees. That's what you'll avoid. Early termination fees with Ting. Because they got that ETF relief program. Yeah, but but whatever. Wait, wait, wait. Relief? Like like they'll pay for someone else's ETFs? Yeah, bro. I got diagnosed with ETFs. They said, uh, they said, they said you only have 20 months. And I was like, and then what? They're like, and then you could be out of contract. I was like, but but what if I want it out now? And they're like, I'm sorry, you have ETFs, Brian. (laughs) And it's like, they're like, is it serious? They're like, it's medical. Here's the deal. You're paying an ETF to come to Ting. They got your back. Just like that last caller has with his new girlfriend while watching SFW show. That's right. Ting will give you credit for 25% off your ETF, up to $75 per device. Simply purchase your device through Ting, port your number, then submit your final bill with your ETF detail from your previous carrier. How about this? No add-on charges. No mysterious line items on your bill. The hell is this? Spider-Man's rogues gallery with Mysterio? No, it's a phone service. Enough of that malarkey. Come to Ting. A powerful online control panel. No old customer support. And how about this? Excellent online support as well. If you like computers. What nerd wants that? First, you purchase your mobile device from Ting. You'll receive in two to five business days. Or you can bring over your favorite Sprint phone. Like the iPhone 4 or 4S. Check out the full list of eligible phones. Uh, and Ting will even help you turn your old device into cash and help you move on to Ting. After you archive your device with Ting, you have the option to select a new phone number or port your existing one. If you love it so much, why don't you marry it? <laughs> Ting will break your rates out by minutes, text messages, and megabytes and bill you at the end of the month for what you've used. Let's go to nsfw.ting.com. Save money and better manage your mobile phone usage with Ting. Check out their savings calculator. See how much your company, or you, if you're a person and not a company, can save. NSFW viewers can save $25 on your first Ting device when you sign up. Go to nsfw.ting.com. Start saving today. Not tomorrow. Not yesterday. Not two weeks from now. Today. Boom. That got a little aggressive. I apologize. It did. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah Lane says, go commando. It's bipartisan. 
and they found like the exact right photo. I have, a, I have a feeling that the reason it took 20 minutes is because they just went through all the photos like, no, no, the eyes don't say it in that one. They don't say it in that. Yes, this one. This is the one that says go commando. It's bipartisan. Yeah. I, I uh, uh-huh. That's how you know it's good. <laughs> the eyes have it. Done. Done and done. Right. Hey, do we have a, a, a third bit planned for tonight? We do. We do. But I just want to ask you real quick. So if there was underwear that was like true love underwear that like scaproined open when like your your heart rate, I feel like I'd be down for that. Oh my god. Uh, the problem is, well, it's like I go to the gym and then and we we've already we've discussed at length my fears of unfortunately You've got time boner fears. Sp spagroinging. Yeah. Sp sp yeah. Sp spagroinging is that what we're calling it? Spagroining. Growing, growing, spagroing. Sp spagroining. Sp it's Swedish. Spagroining. 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 It's, it's, it's a popular greeting. They say, Spagroining. Spagroining. Spagroining, Gavna. Spagroining to you. I see. Spagroining. 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 It, it really works with any culture. It's like. It does. A, uh, like like the Japanese. Hey, hey, skip ruining. That's right. That's right. They, they will. They'll say that. Uh, the, the Russians will be like, I must speak ruining. <laughs> uh, hey, Brian. Yes. There's a thing uh, called the Super Bowl. You ever heard of it? Mm, no. It's happening this weekend. It's a, it's a football match between football men. They all get together and football each other until they lie in a heap at center field. The ballers. They call themselves the ballers. Yep. Baller. Calf skin and Here's concussions. Yeah. They're, they're the mm -hmm. baller Fun. boys, and they can be spotted by the bruises on the backs of their brains. That's how, mm -hmm. that's their gang colors is brain bruise. And butts. <laughs> and their, their symbol <laughs> is, uh, is the, the, the tiger paws. Yeah. Because that's Indeed. what they use to attack the pigs with. Because that's uh, the, So here's the deal. Uh, this is the most bet upon event of the year. More people bet on the Super Bowl Which than is on anything ever throughout the rest of the year. Uh, and, and part of what happens is you get a lot of people that never normally bet, but they bet on things called prop bets. So those are things like whether it's going to snow because it's an outdoor Super Bowl or or what uh, is it going to be heads or tails in uh, in the coin flip at the beginning. But what I did is uh, thanks to our, our friend Mitzula, an actual bookmaker in Las Vegas, there's a couple prop bets that are, are not about the game. I don't even know how they track this. This is about your Super Bowl party. Oh, wait, you, your individual party. That, that, that your individual hosting. party. And I don't, maybe you just, you write down whether or not you won or not, and you mail it in, and then they'll, they'll send you your money back. I don't know how exactly it works. Okay. Uh, but I got a list here of Super Bowl party prop bets. Okay, great. No, walk, walk us through these. Uh, okay, how about this? Uh, this is, uh, again, from the kickoff to the final whistle, right? Now, now do uh, we want to, uh, for our own imagination, I would imagine everybody at home needs to imagine, if you don't go to your own Super Bowl party, or at least you can imagine, we've all been to one, so we all know what it's like. Whatever that place is, wherever you are most likely to find yourself at a Super Bowl party, you know, go ahead and rate your own over-unders on these. Sure. Well, no, it comes with with, uh, with 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 odds here. I'll read them off to you. What? Uh, a friend of a friend mutters something racist. That's plus two hundred. <laughs> That's so. So, what does plus two hundred mean in the in the odds making world? Does that mean more likely than not? I guess. That means uh, no. It, it's rarer if it's if it's plus. So so you don't uh, you get extra money. Got it. Uh, if just. Yeah, you bet a hundred, you get two hundred. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, that's that seems about right. Now, I guess the question would be how racist it needs to be, right? Uh, you, you know. The well, <laughs> is there a scale? Well, okay. What about, uh, let, let's, let's explore this, right? Uh, okay. Would it qualify, if you went to a party, if somebody complimented how good the blacks are at this game? <laughs> it's a compliment. <laughs> and uh, he's, he's clearly... Do, I mean, do you pay out just on this say, or just not? Just say, well, the athletic ability, I had no idea. They're actually quite good. Like, and he keeps saying it like, gee whiz, the blacks are great at this. Yes, exactly. I never, you know, I had never really followed football before. <laughs> uh, oh uh, all right, God. so there's that. Uh, how about this one? 
Um, this one is plus 100, so it's kind of even money uh, sorry. here. We Someone have... passes out drunk before halftime. Uh, I'm sure that happens all the time. But... Happened to me last year. Did it really? <laughs> I mean, it was slightly after halftime because I wanted to watch the show, but there were jello shots and the, things got weird. It is happens. This, now, hold on. Was Wait, this, and that was your team was in the Super Bowl because you're a 49ers fan. I know. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, and I have to believe that this is where she got the idea that going commando was bipartisan because clearly that's when this promotional <laughs> photo was taken. <laughs> Wait a second. Zoom in on that business. <laughs> Whose pretty arm is that? <laughs> well, I thought it was yours. It's it's, it's Sarah Lane saying, go commando. Dude, it's I don't have side boob like that. Wish I did. Wish I did. <laughs> I'll tell you what. That's that's a long arm, though. You can play in the WNBA the with thing. that kind that's of wingspan. I was like, is that me? Wait, no, that arm's too long. <laughs> the the arm was the giveaway? Was that, was that it couldn't work? That's a huge long arm. That arm is five feet long. <laughs> right on. All right. What, what, other, what other odds you got for us? All right. So here we go. This one, uh, these two are for the halftime show. Uh, uh, Bruno Mars and, and the Red Hot Chili Peppers. So, uh, man, by the way, how, how insulted are you? Like, are you just thrilled to be Bruno Mars and like work in the Super Bowl? Or, you know, because for the last several years, it's been like one mega, usually classic rock name you know tom petty or madonna or paul mccartney or whatever uh rolling stones and then it's like um uh these two guys uh, together they're kind of uh one of those other ones like are you offended or are you just excited that you made it there uh i, I think you're 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 really offended and you call everybody in the nfl and say i hate you <laughs> okay. okay i should fine. not be doing this <laughs> Well, how here, how about this? Uh, the girl who mentions how much she'd like to bang Bruno Mars uh, three times during his 10 minute performance. No way. And that's plus 200. He's a little man. He's half my size. He's half the size of your arms. I mean, that's the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, she might be really, 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 really small. So maybe they would be very happy together, but I don't know. But maybe like yeah, no, you with you with those arms, if you did a push up, Bruno Mars could walk under you. Like without Correct. ducking his head. <laughs> and it turns and out, that, luckily. And there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> luckily, it turns out that's his exact fetish. He's, he's like, I am into <laughs> chicks with wildly, monstrously long arms that I can walk underneath. Uh, all right, here's My the other one for the, the, uh, size of for the, the, the Super Bowl halftime show. Uh, the person who is too young to remember who the Red Hot Chili Peppers are. Being at your Super Bowl party. Oh, that's geez. plus 400. So that's rare, you think? Uh, I mean, they, they they have to be around, these people. You know what was weird? And, the and this teens. Is, this, this is a, uh, uh, I don't know, this is how old I am, whatever, uh, product of the times. Uh, 1992, I was a junior in high school. That's when um, Blood Sugar Sex Magic came out. That was like, that was like you know, Red Hot Chili Peppers at what appeared to be the apex at that time, sure. right? Under the bridge, right? Big go, song, mm -hmm. exactly. Go go to college, you know, and it's like you know, deeply, you know, you listen to all the back catalog, did all that thing, um, but but they were such a persistent hit maker that what twelve years later, two thousand four, two thousand six, or what? You no, know, I guess it was two thousand six. Holy crap! Uh, or no, two thousand seven. I take on this uh, this nineteen year old kid. Uh, uh, named Dan Kunath, uh, who you can see in some of the Brian Brushwood on the Road videos, who is 19 years old, which I remember being 19 year old, and obsessed with the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And I found myself like, you know, he just wanted to play it all the time while we're doing setup or whatever. And I was like, I was like, ah, I'm kind of over it. And that was just a weird moment to be the old guy who was over the thing that this kid that thought was hot and new. And I guess it was hot and new. Did but he did he think it was hot and new, or did or was he just like, oh my gosh, they're rock gods, and a decade later is still well, really no, they cool. were no, 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 like they like, were huge. I mean, like those Californication uh, uh, was the was the latest oh, album at the yeah. time. So that, so that's fair. <clears throat> that's like people in the you know early '90s really liking Aerosmith. Exactly. I mean, yeah. think about all those people from the '70s who were like, "Are you serious?" Or the Doors, We'd right? Really like Aerosmith to just hang it up. Yeah, and all, everyone yeah. else was like, "No, Alicia Silverstone videos for life." That's that <laughs> is the experience that I had, and I felt very old and weird. And, and but that was also at some point the Chili Peppers just became like every song was just bop bop ba da ba da ba da lyric. 
lyric, 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 lyric. There was that one song where he, uh, Anthony Kiedis just stopped speaking English. He was like, I know, I know it's true. Ding, 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 ding. Like, what? It's you like you're not even trying anymore, are you? Rhyme. No. That wasn't English. That wasn't a word. He just shows up and they're like, describe the action in a plinko machine. <laughs> in a pachinko machine. And he's just like, beep pop boodle dee beep dee beep pop beep boop boop. Uh, all right, well, here's we two props here that are food related. Uh, will the guy who consumes all of the buffalo wings, leaving nothing for anybody else, be at your Super Bowl party plus three hundred? See, that one's unfair because I am that guy. Like I show up. Well, and then Brian, the... you will like to bet on the second prop bet: the wing guy being you <laughs> plus five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and what's funny is I was sure you just made that up, but I'm looking in there. Look in the dock, my friend. That's an alley and an oop. <laughs> that was amazing, dude. Uh, so there we go, Brian. That, those are your Super Bowl prop bets. We bring the heat for you guys uh, so you have all your gambling needs taken care of here on this show. Dude, that's awesome. Uh, all right, look, I've got a bit of news that will shock and amaze you momentarily. All right, but well, here, let's talk about Squarespace real quick. Never heard of them. Uh, Squarespace. When uh, the Maker civilization of is a smoking t-shirts. ruins. Uh, and, and we have forgotten all of human history. There is one element that will remain for the future inhabitants of this dark, disgusting, decrepit planet. And that is Squarespace. Beautiful designs. <laughs> You're going to take a look at this design. Ooh. And your love bra is going to pop right off. <laughs> That's how beautiful these designs are. Easy to use, inexpensive, mobile ready. I'm, I'm ready for mobile. I don't know about you guys. Well, see, that's Mo- the thing mobile's is, mobile's the future. I hear they're selling a lot of smartphones. I was so. watching a show called i Five, where the host was complaining about how what's up with all these websites that aren't optimized for ob- mobile. They're not mobile ready. <laughs> that was my impression of you, Sarah Lane, doing your show. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, you you don't watch my show. Fine. That's fine. But you don't have to mock me at the same time. It's, it's Even fine. Even their you code is beautiful. I, I get it. Maybe it, <laughs> iOS isn't your own. Is but I just, uh, you know, I think complaining about not mobile optimized is a little silly when you have something like Squarespace where that's all taken care of for you. Yeah. How about this? Hosting's also included. You want to be out there on the streets begging for, for hosting? Huh? Is that what you want? No. Is that what you want for I, your life? I don't. I well, don't. Well, then go get something other than Squarespace. Because Squarespace is going to take care of it for you. You started a free two-week trial with no credit card required. Start building your website. Okay? I want you to do that right now for you. Not for me. For you. When you decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure you use the offer code NSFW. That stands for this show. In fact, it's NSFW1. Want to know why? Because you're, you're number, one. number one in our heart. That's, yeah. You get 10% off and you show support for this show. We thank Squarespace for their support of NSFW show. And Squarespace, everything you need to create an exceptional website that will last longer than any human or Otherwise, organic species. <laughs> uh, NSFW1, if you love us. NSFW Juan. Juan. Uh, I just um, re- received a dispatch. Breaking news, Justin. <laughs> We're canceled. <laughs> uh, take a look at this. Badonk. Tay Allen just tweeted. Your Marilyn Monroe of the internet is back. I missed you boys wearing, what's that, sir? Oh, look at that, our chat room t-shirt. Hang on, let me zoom in on, on these, these tees shirts. Good Lord. <laughs> there. There it is. Hello. It's bipartisan, Brian. <laughs> it is. We should ask. You know, that seems like it, it's such an important issue that to raise awareness, we should ask more people if they're going commando. Just, you know, we need to. That's right. We it's need a, to make it's more bipartisan. people bipartisan. That's right. Um, I don't know. Brian, that didn't I'm going to give commando a... to me. That looked pretty perk, but nice. <laughs> right on. It's very nice. Uh, I'm going to give away a, a card game right now. You're just going to ruin it. You're gonna give yeah, away I'm gonna, I'm give gonna, away I'm the gonna, game. 
So here's the deal. I uh, I was uh, a friend of mine I work with at the Go Game, John Teasdale. Uh, me and him came up with a card game. He actually made it last night. Like we just came up with the idea and it's now a thing. It's uh, called uh, Who Does Nobody Like? And it is a game uh, that is really designed to ruin all your friendships. You and your friends are gonna get around and play card games and uh, this will ruin all of your relationships with them. Uh, bit.ly slash no friends game is where you need to go and you will download the PDF. You can print it out and uh, and that reply uh, me, Justin R. Young uh, or uh, John Teasdale underscore if uh, you play it and let us know who doesn't like you anymore because it's terrible. Well, okay, explain this to everyone else because this is based on a on a game that, <laughs> that uh, warning, do not play this game. You will lose friends, your significant other will leave you and your family will never speak to you again. We haven't played it and neither should you. And wow, this is this is all fully formed. This is amazing. So how yeah, how no, is the game played? It's a real played? game. You can print it out and play it, and it'll be a fun time if you just yeah print it on a double sided printer. So uh, the the game is kind of based off the rules of True Colors. If you've ever played that, no, the idea I have not. So explain. The idea is that everybody in the group has is assigned a color, right? And then everybody gets a question, a prompt. So Brian. You're, you're scrolling through them. Read, uh, read one of the, the questions there at random. Uh, who would be the creepiest neighbor? All right. So there's, there's one of them. Um, well, go ahead and read another if one. If they were a businessman, who'd be most likely to conduct a Ponzi scheme? <laughs> See, like, I would be so offended have, if I didn't win that one. So you have a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. And, and there's other stuff like uh, who's going to die alone. Oh, God. Um, who has cheated on their significant others the most. Ooh. Um, Ooh, stuff yeah. like that. Really mm -hmm. uncomfortable questions. Yeah. Uh, and then at that point, everybody votes with a color card uh, in an envelope and you pass them around. So everything's anonymous, get... uh, theoretically anonymous, unless everybody in the group picks you, in which case you know that they all hate you and think you're Ab that thing. Absolutely. So then once you get your card back, you select uh, somebody who uh, either got some, none, or all of the votes. Uh, you get one point if you get some and two points if you successfully guess that they got none or all. Uh, and then the first to 10 wins. Now, and on the way, you find out that everybody hates you and thinks you're a slut. Do, do, you, uh, do you only get to make one bet per turn or do you get to bet like for each person? Like you'll get none, you'll get some, you'll get all or... Or yeah, uh, is it just, like an across the board one. horse just racing one. type thing or what? Okay, so it's just one. You you get to make one bet, and it could be a some, one, or none, or or some, none, or all. Sorry. Yes. yes. I mean, for a game that's supposed to ruin friendships, this seems surprisingly complicated. Mm. Let's play it. it. Let's play it right now. Um, okay. Theoretically, let's walk through what a game might look like. With the three of us playing, sure. we'll have to describe in advance. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, <laughs> um <laughs> This one here so, yeah, says... Uh, Curtis LaRock, uh, here's one of the questions. Slut! Who did you just think of? <laughs> Myself. Who monitors their ex's status online? So so uh, you would have to... We would all have a color, so we would... Yeah, what, what bet would you make, Justin? And all of a sudden I'm realizing instantly what a terrible game this is. I don't play. feel like that's going to hurt anyone's feelings. Like... If if Justin's like Sarah, that I either be like, yeah, I do, or no, I don't. <laughs> yeah, but well, but, I guess the the problem is more. I mean, it is the, it, it, it's it's a game designed to be played with friends for whom you have assumptions on what they think of you. Exactly, and so, then if you find uh, out that those are incorrect, people tend to react poorly to it. Like what? Well, like just Justin saying, and you wouldn't even know it's Justin. What's weird is when you're playing with ten people, and every single oh, one of them, I see, picks Sarah because, Lane because everyone's like, Sarah, you're a stalker yeah exactly yeah. right or, or it's like you know we all know about whatever thing that you're embarrassed of uh, -huh. uh who dated a drug dealer <laughs> that's a good one who would install a <laughs> tracking device on a significant other uh if they were a soldier during wartime who would steal the jewelry off the corpse of a dead civilian to sell on ebay <laughs> i mean they are dead right? i mean what are they gonna do take it to heaven no, well, you can't take it with you. We've learned that from birth. <laughs> um, if they were a researcher who would falsify a drug study for money. Uh, ooh, that's a good ooh. question. 
If they were a lawyer, who would launder money for a drug dealer? Well, that's, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll cop to that in advance. Good thing I'm not a lawyer. Yeah. I mean, if you get away with it, right? Who's always getting dumped and never initiating the breakup? <laughs> oh, oh, that's a that rough never. Ha- that's not always one person, is it? Well, it's mm-hmm. got to. You don't know that guy. <laughs> it's got. It's got to be the one Actually, out of what? the group. I do know that guy. That's the closest. Yep. Oh, that yeah. guy. He'll never learn. Yep. Who that, submits? That was, there were, there were two other um, uh, perspective titles for the game. Uh, one was that guy. Because this is all about finding the that guy, right? Mm-hmm. And the other one was uh, F word you, <laughs> colon, and your dumb friends too. <laughs> Who submits naked pictures of their ex to a revenge porn site? <laughs> I wish I had some. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Which, by the way, I tweeted that one out. And somebody at replied me and said, I did. I got 400 bucks. Whoa. Really? Wow. And then money the diamond club symbol at the end. And I'm like, I'm not down with that. No. <laughs> <laughs> you think about some old iPhones I have laying around. <laughs> oh, you got paid. I thought it was just, you know, Oh, to no, be no. You get, you get paid for those. Oh, my God. Oh. Who is the most intolerable drunk? Who makes more money than me? <laughs> Who would trade their life for mine? Who hates my current or most recent significant other? Uh, man, these are great. Who had a crush on me when we first met? Wow, there's that. Uh, dude, this is a great game, and I want to see what happens when people play it. I I mean, are there YouTube videos of people playing it yet? Because I feel like that's just the next thing to happen. Well, I mean, it, it literally just got released five seconds ago. So we will... <laughs> oh, we, all right. We, we will see uh, as we go forward. But go ahead and download it. It's... Uh, uh, Wait, what is it called again? <laughs> I don't even know what it's Who called. Who does nobody like? Which I Who does I, nobody like? That's I, it. I got to I got to wish uh, that 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 we had talked about this before. That's not not the catchiest title I've ever heard. Uh you want to know what, Brian? Nobody likes you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like I guess what I'm asking is is it too late to workshop uh like a, a taste of that nope. or it's not too late? No, it is too late. Oh. It's out. Okay, great. Then it's, it's out. out. It's out. It's called Who Does Nobody Like? Who Does Nobody Like? <laughs> so it's like it's like the new Cards Against Humanity, but way more personal. Yeah. I think Cards I like Against it. Humanity is kind of like, oh, like, teehee, there's we like some naughty things word. on the cards, right? Yeah. Right. They're like, oh, this one. Oh, this is, uh, yeah. it is, this is the weaponized one, yeah. to be awkward. Right. Like, I look at you and I'm like, I've never liked your girlfriend and you're a drunk idiot. <laughs> yep, exactly. And you're like, okay, we are not friends anymore. Man. Because at some point, it's going to pile up on one guy. That's one right. guy just might be yeah. the that guy in too many different categories and everyone's just hitting them with the, the, the thing and uh, it's going to be a problem. <laughs> wow. I mean, kind of want to play it. Well, there we go. Maybe we can play it on the stream. It's gonna be like a new. It's like this. It's the new skydiving. You know, like, do you have the balls to play the game where you tell the truth? Uh, You know what we could do while we're while we're playing the games? We can watch bipartisan commando with Sarah Lane. What? (laughs) Wrong with my face? Let's party. (laughs) War (laughs) paint. Amazing. Uh, all right, man. I guess we're wrapping things up. Um, no movie draft minute. Of course, that's all finished. Although we did have an interesting development because uh, Gravity got re-released. Casey got up before the time ran out, or I guess there's still time. Casey yeah. might be about to overtake you for second place, Justin. Are you allowed no, to done. count re-releases? No, it, it, it finishes. It fin- the standings finished 30 days after the last movie. and So it counts. Yeah. No, that's, no, no. That's... Wait, no, but that doesn't count for re-releases. Why wouldn't it? it, it it's an, that's an interesting it conundrum. Released. Yeah, and it's still making money. That's the, the no. It's just back in theaters. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. who knows whether it fully left theaters? In fact, it's just its original run. Wait, wait, what side? What point are you arguing? My yeah, point you're is that it's yourself. already been out. No, this is not. Okay, I'm second. How humiliated do you need me to be? Well, do I, I need to be Cersei Lannister walking naked through the streets? I, Book spoiler. Uh, <laughs> hey, look. I'm cool. The uh, 
Uh, I'm just saying. Wow, I didn't. I didn't know this would be such a sore spot. Is that gonna uh, happen? The uh, all right. <laughs> all right. All I'll right. keep spoiling things from the books if you don't stop <laughs> this line of questioning. All right, but I mean, as long I'm just saying by the by the letter of the law, it's you, you got three more days until, or I guess two more days. Thirty days after the last movie, I believe is is two days from now. I'm not sure. So I don't know. Maybe maybe you'll stay. You second. don't know why she's walking naked. Well, she, Maybe it turns out, out. Turns out they have a, they have a titillating game of truth or dare, <laughs> <laughs> and it just ends up that that they're all like, ee, she's gonna do it. She should have taken truth." You know. Uh, all right, uh, Sarah, do you have anything uh, you want to you want to plug here? Uh, well, anybody who watches the Twit Network knows that uh, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific, I'm on uh, Tech News Today. And, um, you know, the show's changed a lot and, and, and we're what? finding our footing again and it's a lot of fun. So I hope you guys all do check that out. Also, uh, tomorrow on Wednesdays, I'm also doing uh, Tech News Tonight, which is our evening version of, again, a new show. The format is a little bit different, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, iPad Today is on Mondays. I5 is on Wednesdays and the social hour is on Thursdays. And I'm just like super overexposed. So it's hard to get away from me. And thanks to everybody who, you know, watches my stuff or listens or tells a friend or whatever. Yeah. Uh, all right. Listen, we all joked around. Here's a serious thing. One day there will be a podcasting hall of fame and Sarah Lane will be in it. And the, what I will submit to the, the deciding body is how awesome you have been as all the changes have happened on Tech News today. It is, I think, the the best work as a TNT fan that uh, I have seen of uh, from from you. You have done an amazing job in bridging that gap, and you are awesome. Well, thank you. That's very kind. I appreciate that. You really are the bright, shining center of the universe. I mean, I'm I am so drunk most of the time. That's the best part. <laughs> I mean. They say it's alcoholism, but is it if it's helping? It's, is it, is, they is call it, it alcoholism. I call it show prep. I mean, I tell you, the problem is you read that little study. It's like, is it causing damage to your relationships? You're like, I don't know, maybe saving some. It's like, is, is it <laughs> you know, affecting your I'm work? Like, like yeah, it bro. It tastes good, and I'm prettier. Making it so. better. Everybody likes me more. I bet it's affecting my relationship with all this cash, bro. <laughs> <laughs> cash money uh let's see oh my gosh holy crap i just remember what i said right before the what, what did i say before the show began i said i wanted a t-shirt saying i believe in jammer b <laughs> and look at that boom that's amazing i do i'm getting it that's an amazing shirt right on well done sirs wow that was fast so there's that whoa hold on <laughs> what? <laughs> Apparently, breaking dispatch from Tay Allen. She's responding to the chat realm that it, it, it is commando. So, thanks for asking. It's bipartisan. It is bipartisan. Oh, well, good for her. Good on <laughs> you. <laughs> good on you. <laughs> All right, look, this has been a lot of fun. Fantastic time as always. Uh, best night of the week. You guys are the best people on planet Earth. Justin, this is a good game. I'm excited about it. Cheers. A- uh, hey, everybody. See you next Tuesday. Hey, man. Dying of fire. Love you. Although it's apparently it's usually the smoke and inhalation. I'm so depressed and I'm gonna spend the rest of the week in bed until the next. Gallows humor. That's what that's called, Justin. <laughs> the show is through and it breaks my heart because I just can't bear to be apart from Brian and Justin. So you laugh in the face of death because you know we're all gonna die. That's where. Yep. That's what it. That's. We're all marching towards a cliff, my friend. Mm-hmm. Then you spend a single moment. And you know what we see on the other side? Brian Brushwood. Fantasy. Oh, Jesus like Christ! Fat, fat, fat. Then do without Justin Robert Young for even a little while. You know JC stands for. <laughs> what? First word just. C word. I love you. Past tense to come. Oh. <laughs> so 
That's why they're all excited about the second coming of Christ. <laughs> <laughs> o -S 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 